Oh, Jeff. Couple minutes. Oh, okay, okay. So three would have four, or four. Ah, oh, okay. So there's five judges tonight. Okay. So when it's a split, what's the ratio of that? So because there's an odd number of judges and each judge has to award one way or the other, then that always has to be a winner. <laughs> or an amateur box. So it wasn't a split decision. The split was some judges for, some judges against. Majority means the majority of them were one way, you know, 3-2 three, two, three, two or 4-1 is still a majority. And is that common for these these type tournaments? Because when we're watching other fights, it's usually three judges, the split means two and one. So why is it like that tonight? Was that normal for these type of tournaments? No, it's because as an international, as a, as a you know, obviously they, they want to get all the decisions right in a showcase event like this. So... Having five judges instead of three uh, means that if someone's not on form or making a bad call or less experienced judge, less likely for a decision to go the wrong way. Um, you know, obviously it's a little bit subjective depending on where you're sitting and what shots you see land. So um, more judges should mean fairer scoring. You took the words right out of my mouth because, you know, at times you see things differently when you're sitting on any point and angle of the ring. But just looking at the fight tonight, and I've always often said, it's, it's sometimes a bit of a leap, you know, when our Kiwi guys go and find the Aussies, and it's, it's nothing but a good thing, right, for them to come over, test the best of the best, right? Um, the biggest disappointment for me as a, as a boxing fan is that you can go to a corporate boxing event where there's a generally much lower standard of boxing, no disrespect, you know, respect anyone who gets in the ring. Um, there's a, some very hard-working, highly skilled amateur boxers in here, and there's no bloody crowd. You know, where's the support? Come on, people. You, you appreciate and love boxing, you should have your ass here at the ABA. Hey, that's a good point. And we just saw that fight between uh, Benjamin Hussein and the New South Wales champ. That fight was better than some mains. I was like, the skill, the level, the, the way they were throwing punches, the timing was just so different from what you even see with some, uh, like you said, pro fights. You got some genuine class act, promising young boys like Ben coming through. He's been on a number of development trips with younger youth youth boxers against New Zealand uh, Regan Foley shows and stuff. And um, some of these skills of these boxers and the amount of work that they put into it, and you know, it's just great to watch. It's just a shame that there's not more people here appreciating it. And who have you got here tonight? And, and what does this mean for your fighters to be able to fight the best and the best in Aussie? At the moment, I'm not coaching. Um, but I'm just here as a supporter and no doubt at some point I'll be able to organise my life to get back into coaching again. So you're loving being a spectator of this high calibre amount of fights tonight, right? Well, I've still got connections with a lot of the boxers and boxing coaches and people and it's just really nice to be here. It's nice to watch good high standard of boxing and uh, where's the crowd? Jeff, as always, we appreciate you being here, appreciate your input and uh, have a good rest of the night. Thanks, mate.